So you've decided to host your own website, or maybe you're just getting into self-hosting applications, but you're not quite sure how to connect everything to the internet. Sound familiar? Well, you're in luck because my goal with this video is to help you successfully set up your very own reverse proxy using Nginx Proxy Manager in your home lab or even on a cloud server so that you're able to access all of your websites and applications over the internet. We'll go over how to set up the Nginx Proxy Manager server and put it on a dedicated Docker network with other Docker containers. We'll set up DNS records to point to your, your domains to your IP address. We'll obtain SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt and we'll configure your applications behind the reverse proxy. All this sounds pretty cool, right? Well, let's get started. Okay, let's start out by taking a look at this sample home lab that I have set up here. In it, I have Nginx Proxy Manager running behind our firewall. Here we just have a simple consumer grade TP-Link router, but you may have something like OpenSense or, or uh, PFSense. It really doesn't matter as long as you can forward ports 80 and 443. That's what we need to pass into our home lab to this machine here, whichever one is running your Nginx Proxy Manager. Nginx Proxy Manager is then going to route traffic to the appropriate application. We're gonna set up a sample Apache application uh, web server, and that's what we're gonna to connect to. So by the end, we'll be able to go from example.whatsnewandrew.dev through our firewall, we'll hit our Nginx Proxy Manager and it will route the traffic down to our Apache web server, which will return the, uh, the information back to us. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're gonna start by first creating the connection between our URL and our IP address. To do that, we need to set up an A record. So let's go over to Cloudflare. That's where I keep all of my domains. You may keep your domain somewhere else, which is fine. You just need to be able to create an A record. So we'll go ahead and click on what's new Andrew.dev. We'll hit DNS and in here we'll say add record. And the record that we're gonna create is example. And that's because we wanna have example.whatsnewandrew.dev for our, uh, our URL. Now the IP address we need to get, that's gonna be the IP address of your home network. So that's gonna be whatever your ISP gives you. This is not one of your internal machines. For me, I'm using a cloud server because I don't wanna to have to blank out the, uh, the IP address everywhere, but it'll work just fine for your IP address. Get your home IP address, uh, go to Google if you don't know it and just type what's my IP address. We'll go over here and we're gonna paste that in so it connects our IP address to our domain name, which is example.whatsnewandrew.dev. I'm gonna also turn off proxy status, at least initially. If you use Cloudflare, Cloudflare will proxy your IP address behind theirs. So if somebody does a lookup of this, um, this URL, it's gonna end up giving them a proxied uh, IP address from Cloudflare instead of my IP address. So you need to turn that off initially if you're setting up uh, Let's Encrypt certificates. So we'll go ahead and do that and hit save. And now let's move on to the next step. We're gonna install Nginx Proxy Manager in our, uh, our home lab. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and set up uh, everything in Portainer. I like to use Portainer again in my videos if you've seen any of my other ones because it's a little easier to follow along. The first thing we need to do is set up a Docker network. Now, ideally all of our Docker containers are on the same network for security so that when we go to Nginx Proxy Manager, it can just talk directly to the uh, Docker containers. It's not essential, but it's kind of a best practice that they, uh, they recommend you do. If you don't do that, you can just refer to the IP address of your machine and the port that you have exposed. So we'll look at both of those ways to do it. So let's go ahead and set up a network first. We're gonna call our network Nginx PM for our Nginx Proxy Manager. Leave all the other settings the same and hit Create Network. So now we've got our Docker network set up. We need to connect our Docker containers to it. So to do that, we'll go ahead and set up our first stack, and this is gonna be for Nginx Proxy Manager. So we'll paste the Docker Compose file in here. All these Docker Compose files and additional details are gonna be in the description below, so you'll be able to follow along there. What we're gonna expose with this container is ports 80, 443, and 81. 80 and 443 are the two that you wanna pass through your firewall. You don't wanna pass 81 through your firewall because that's your administrative port. You'll use that internally to be able to connect to and administer everything within an Nginx Proxy Manager. The one thing we need to add for this Docker container or this Docker Compose file and every Docker Compose file we wanna to connect to is this section here, which defines the network we wanna to connect to. It's that Nginx PM one that we just set up. We also are gonna call this uh, container NPM and up at the top, I'm just gonna name the stack NPM for Nginx Proxy Manager. 
and we'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and hit deploy the stack. Okay, so Nginx Proxy Manager is up and running in the Docker container. Let's go ahead and go out to the IP address for our server and port 81. Now, I know I said don't expose this port uh, to the internet. We're doing this temporarily. Shh, don't tell anybody. So we'll go ahead and go to it and it brings up the login. The first login for this is admin at example.com and the password is change me. So we'll go ahead and log in. It's gonna ask us to change all of that and update it to something else. So we'll do that and we'll meet you inside. Okay, our password is all set up. We've uh, updated all our credentials. So let's take a look at what we've done so far. We've connected example.whatsnewandrew.dev to our IP address with an A record. We've then installed Apache, or we've installed rather Nginx Proxy Manager, and we've exposed ports 80 and 443. We also have port 81 available so that we can do the admin of it. Now what we need to do is install this application here and then connect it within Nginx Proxy Manager. So let's go ahead and install our Apache application. We'll do that real quick and we'll attach it to the same Docker network. So back on Portainer, we'll go ahead and add a new stack. We're gonna paste in our Docker Compose file and this is just a simple Apache web server. The one thing we do have though, is we have the same network connection that we talked about in the previous, um, the previous Docker Compose file for Nginx Proxy Manager. It has the Nginx PM uh, network and we've named this Apache. So remember that name because we'll need that when we set up uh, Nginx Proxy Manager. So we're gonna call this Apache and we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll go ahead and hit deploy the stack. So now it's deployed. We've got, again, if we look at this drawing, we've got the uh, Nginx Proxy Manager set up. We've now got our application set up for our, our example dot what's new dev. We've got the URL connected to our IP address. So the last thing we need to do is connect it right here and make that connection. So let's do that now. We'll go into Nginx Proxy Manager and we want SSL certificates. We want all this to be secure. So let's first create some certificates. We go to add SSL certificate. We're gonna type example.whatsnewandrew.dev. And then down here, we'll go ahead and say, I agree to the terms of service. So you wanna make sure that you take a look at those. Also, make sure you have an actual email address here that's real because uh, what Let's Encrypt will do will email you when your certificates are about to expire. But Nginx Proxy Manager will take care of updating for you. But uh, if there's any issues, you'll at least know and you'll be able to come in here and manually take care of it. So we'll hit save. It's going to go out there and grab that IP or that uh, SSL certificate for us. And then it's going to associate it with example.whatsnewandrew.dev. Once that's complete, We'll actually go, so we see that it's complete. Once that's complete, we're gonna actually, before we forget, go over to uh, Cloudflare, go back to our A record and turn the proxy status back on. So now we're again, proxy behind Cloudflare. That's an optional step. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but it's a, just a little bit extra security. So back in Nginx Proxy Manager, we're gonna create a new host. This is gonna actually connect to the Apache web server we just did. So we'll say proxy host, add proxy host, and we're gonna again use the same uh, domain we've been using, example.whatsnewandrew.dev. Okay, and down here in the, the forward name, host name, I'm gonna put Apache. Because if you remember, we connected them to the both, both to the same Docker network, so it can talk to the Docker container this way, and then it's gonna actually reach it on port 80 because that's the Docker container uh, port, not the port we're exposing on the host. However, if you prefer, if we look back over here, you can use the internal IP address that you have within your network and the port that you expose. Either one works. I'm just doing what's down here, which is container name and the container port, which is just a little bit more secure, but either way will work just fine. So we'll go over here to, again, to our proxy host. We're gonna say block common exploits just to do it. And then in SSL, we're going to select that uh, SSL certificate we just created. We'll hit force SSL. That way if somebody comes in on HTTP, it'll automatically move them over to HTTPS and we'll hit save. And now we've created our connection. So now we have this connection going from Nginx Proxy Manager down to our Apache uh, web server. So let's test it out and see if it works. Okay, and now provided we did everything correctly in the setup, when we click on example.whatsnewandrew.dev, it should open a new tab to a brand new website. We clicked on it and it works. It even tells us it works. So we are, we're at example.whatsnewandrew.dev. We've got the uh, web page that's just saying it works. It's an amazing website, isn't it? Spent all kinds of hours putting that together. 
So now we, if we go and we look at our drawing here, we've set up example.whatsnewandrew.dev. We've connected it to our IP address with an A record. We then set up Nginx Proxy Manager within our home lab. It can be setting, sitting on the same server as your uh, applications. It really doesn't matter. We just need to pass in ports 80 and 443. We then set up uh, our application. In our case, it was just a simple Apache web server that, uh, that had a simple page on it. And then we connected our, um, our host to Nginx Proxy Manager so that we could access it. And we tied an SSL certificate to it. And that's it. Wasn't too bad, was it? If you're able to follow along, you should have your very own Nginx Proxy Manager running on your home lab right now. You've probably already connected a few domain names, but if you get stuck, throw some questions in the comment section. I'd be glad to help out. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.